And we're underway. It's five minutes on the clock. Nothing happened so far. We've had one chance, which hasn't resulted in a highlight. Uh, but it's been a solid, calm start to the game against Cruz Azul, who are now down in mid-table. They were up with us at the top, which is why I chose this game uh, to cover in this episode. Uh, but a ball in from Quinones. Back post header by Manatos. And it's been knocked over the bar. A good chance uh, to open up the scoring inside 15 minutes. And Furch has taken a knock. And that could signal bad things for this game. He's coming off for Acajo. But never mind, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, uh, Furch is off. Our top goal scorer. 11 goals so far this season. He's injured. He's off the pitch. Uh, we've got two youngsters in Herrera and Ocasio up front. Uh, the, re the injury crisis is real. We've got like five first team players or first team plus bench players injured um, at the moment, which is not good. Uh, but Cruz Azul have got a free kick lofted into the box and it's headed over. A good chance there to give them the, them the lead uh, after half an hour. Uh, but from the resulting goal kick, it's been passed out short to Nervo, out to Barbosa on the right-hand side. Uh, Zaldivar is a new player we haven't seen so far in the series, uh, and that's probably why he's forced Rocha into an error. But it doesn't matter, Reyes has collected it back up. Rocha there, our captain, back to Barbosa. Nervo, we're playing it, playing it around the defence uh, in this game. Uh, you'll have noticed in previous episodes, it's worked out quite well for us and we've scored lots of goals building from the back and then catching a runner over the top. But it doesn't matter so far. We've got ball inside. Manatos has been dangerous every time we've seen him. Uh, there's Zaldivar, who's taking it wide. Can he cut inside for a shot? He can cut inside for a shot. It's a lovely shot, but it's a good save by the Cruz Azul goalkeeper, uh, Yorado, who has got equal to that effort, uh, which was a good one from the young Zaldivar, who obviously, this I think this is his first actual appearance in an episode. But that's a lovely ball and Acajo has been brought down. Is that a free kick? A penalty rather? He's blown for a penalty. We've already had a couple of penalties uh, in this series that have gone to VAR. We're going to speak to the earpiece once again uh, and check the penalty review on the VAR system. Penalty has been awarded. Point to the spot. But who's going to take it? It's going to have to probably be Agu Aguilera. It is Aguilera stepping up over this one. Furch is obviously not on the pitch. But this could be 1-0 before we get to half time. Uh, he's just about crept it under the goalkeeper. 1-0 indeed. Uh, Emmanuel Aguilera gets his second goal of the season from the penalty spot. He's a good penalty-taking centre-back, which is always handy to have, especially when your normal penalty-taking goal scorer is injured. Uh, but it's crept it under the goalkeeper. He went the right way, but he wasn't close enough to get it. And that puts us 1-0 ahead as we ease towards half-time. Not as comfortable as I would have hoped. But Cruz Azul are a good side and it's very competitive in Mexico. So if you're mid-table, you're basically the same as the top five. Uh, anyway, the ball over the top is dealt with by Nervo, who clears it. But it's not a particularly good clearance. Uh, Acajo cut, coming back to try and get involved. Uh, and that, that leaves uh, Herrera up top on his own, running around like a headless chicken. Anyway, a ball, that's a lovely ball over the top. Dangerous ball. Defense is nowhere, but he, uh, Nervo gets back and wins the header, and we're going to build from that. Zaldivar cuts inside. Rocha has got so much space. Threads a lovely pass to Ozil Herrera, who skies it high. And you have to think that Furch would have finished that one off. Uh, but never mind. Half time. we should be 2-0 up going into the break, but we're only 1-0 up. And we have got our first highlight of the second half. Once again, from a goal kick of our own, we're going to pass it forward. Nervo into Rocha, who is our captain. And, and works things through the midfield. Zalivar back to the goalkeeper. Lovely dropping deep there. We've got plenty of men back and we're going to slowly build forward. Rocha's going to hold the ball. He's not going to hold the ball up. We're moving quickly now, actually. Acajo back to Rocha, who's making a run. Barbosa and Quinones on this right-hand side have got the defenders two on one. He, he's, yeah, there's the space for Quinones. Ball into the back post. And Mauro Manatos gets his sixth goal of the season. He's playing on the left wing today. He's normally featured on the right or maybe even down the middle uh, but it's a lovely, well-worked goal. Barbosa brought in both defenders. Rocha was there to find Quinones in space. Ball to the back post. Furch isn't on the pitch, obviously, but Manatos is. And, and he scored. A lovely finish. Sixth goal of the season. 2-0 victory is on the cards today because, well, 2-0 lead victory is on the cards. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Cruz is all with a corner. Headed over. That was close, but it's not close enough. There's no cigar involved in that one. An hour gone. Let's see how the second half unfolds. And it's unfolding before we even got to the hour mark after that little trying to skip ahead. Never mind. Uh, Cruz Azul with a lovely... No, it's not Aguilera. It's equal to it. Nervo out to Barbosa. Involved in the second goal. Rocha to Acajo, who's got too many men around him and not enough support. But it doesn't matter. We've got the men back to snuff out the attack. Uh, Zaldivar been quite quiet in the second half so far. All the way back to Vargas, though. 
finds Aguilera, the goal scorer from the penalty spot. You will remember in the first half, uh, obviously, it's 2-0. We've had a goal in each half so far. Manatos got the other goal, and he's cutting inside. Lovely ball, finds Acacio, brings it down. Herrera should have got a good chance away. He did get a good chance away, but it wasn't quite good enough to score. I don't think he's got a goal yet this season. He's not featured much off the bench, the youngster. But with Furch injured, he might have more chances uh, going forward in the next few games. Uh, we're going to bring Dominguez on for Reyes. If I can find the button to click, there it is. Moving too quickly. They're making too many substitutions. Right. 72 minutes gone. It's looking rather comfortable here. Throwing in the corner is dealt with. Uh, but only as far as Canones, who just about sneaks it off uh, Carniero's foot. But he doesn't quite actually. He's gone for Anyway, regardless... Barbosa into Nervo inside Zaldivar inside. Lovely ball over the top. Can Herrera got on the end of it? He's tried to skip it over the goal. He's chipped it over the goalkeeper with a lovely deft touch, but the defender gets back and clears it off the line. 2 0, 75th minute. Corner kick whipped in by Dominguez. There it is at the front post. Headed clear. Quinones doesn't get on the end of it. Manatos does collect it nicely, though. Dominguez, the left back, he's over on this right hand side. Cuts inside. Quinones, deflected cross, has gone somewhere. Uh, but we've got another corner once again. 70, if, in fact, it's going to be a Dominguez corner. Uh, we're going to bring Marquez on for Rocha because he's getting a bit tired. And that's a clearance. Manatos, again, the danger man, scored at the back post in the second goal of the, uh, of the game. Uh, and he's been involved in quite a lot of goals so far this season. It's going to keep us six points clear as Toluca have just gone ahead of Puebla. Uh, but we are cruising towards another victory. It's going to be in the 90th minute soon. Uh, but once again, another victory here. It's been a great start to this. It's 13 games of play. We've drawn two of them. Uh, Manatos can come off late for Flores uh, as we get into injury time. And that's it. That is the game. That is... That's it. We're, we're quickly becoming the title favourites. Obviously, Mexico's strange in that you have a regular season and then it all goes down to the playoffs anyway. So being this dominant in the regular season means nothing, ultimately. Uh, right, we'll play a few more games and then we've got the Campeones Cup where we face New York City. Okay, so we faced Leon and Mazatlan in the last two league games. Uh, we won 2-0 against uh, Leon. Furch wasn't out for very long at all. He's back in the next game. Uh, then we faced uh, Mata Mazatlan, who we comfortably beat 1-0 um, with Manatos. Uh, Furch was rested for that game uh, because that leaves us 15 play game games played. 12-1, three draws, 39 points. Six points clear of Toluca in second. Pretty comfortable, really, let's be fair. Uh, but that's not what this is all about now. We're about to face New York City in the Campeones Cup. Uh, so we've rested a few players going into this game. New York City aren't doing particularly well in the MLS. We'll have a quick look. Uh, if we look at the Eastern Conference, they're not anywhere. So that's their last. They're 14th, which is quite poor. We're going to face them in the Campeones Cup right now, though. Um, and obviously they are owned by the City Football Group. We shall see whether they are as good as their fellow uh, stablemates in Manchester City. Uh, it's, it's a familiar 11. Vargas in goal. Reyes, Nervo, Santa Maria, however, in the centre of the park instead of Aguilera with Barbosa. Marquez and Rocha in midfield. Manatos, Quinones and Furch with Arcasio up top. Back to our familiar strike pairing. Right. Uh, let's let's go to New York City. Underway then at Yankee Stadium. And we're facing New York City, obviously, in the Campeones Cup. Uh, let's see if we can continue, continue. That's hard for me to say. Our great form. Rush is free kick. It's cool. Save by Johnson and tip wide for a corner. That header from the early free kick. Uh, just five minutes on the clock. And we've got a corner here that Rocha is going to whip in. Uh, it's, it's his free kick that won us uh, the corner. Headed at the near post is cleared. Uh, and Gabriel Pereira, I don't know anyone in this New York side, as far as I know anyway. Uh, and it's very confusing that they're playing in the same strip as Manchester City. Uh, but there we go. The highlight is over. I'm going to have a quick look through their squad at some point uh, to see if I know any of them. But Vargas with the low, early, short, that's the word I'm looking for, clearance out to the defence. I'm going to play from the back. Nice passing around with the football. Quinones has tried to get round his man there. He just about does, but Furch... With a sloppy first touch after a poor pass. Ball over the top to Haber. He's been forced out wide. Uh, the, the problem hasn't gone though. It's been passed across the pitch. Tinnerholm ball into the box. Nervo with a good header. Only as far as Tinnerholm again. Ball back in. Oh no! And Haber. Or Heber. Or Heat Height. They've scored. New York City have scored within 10 minutes. And we are behind. And this is something we have not felt at all. Basically. You know, with the... The replays flipped the camera. Uh, Tinnerholm's ball is first dealt with by Nervo, but he can't. He's lost position there, and Hayberg jumps over two men to head it home. 
And New York City are now leading 1-0 in... We're at Yankee Stadium. In the Campiones Cup, we need to encourage everyone and try and get back into this game. And straight away, we've got a highlight. Barbosa passes back to Varhas. Uh, or Vargas. I don't know. His, my, my pronunciation is not very good, even three episodes deep. Uh, Santa Maria to Marquez in midfield. Obviously, he's playing in place of the injured uh, Brazilian central midfielder. Um, who is... He's, He's got a hip injury. Anyway, Marquez back. Out. We're playing out the left-hand side. Reyes uh, into Nervo, back into Russia, our captain, who's a lovely ball over the top to Ocasio, who brings it down nicely. Slots. He doesn't need to square it. He smashed it home. Alberto Ocasio has got his sixth of the season and all is level in Yankee Stadium. It's not even the seventh inning stretch. I don't I don't know any baseball references. Oh, the replay camera's flipped again. This is confusing. Um... Lovely ball from Russia. Ocasio takes a touch, brings it down, slots it home. Goalkeeper flailing. Doesn't know what to do. It's 1-1. We're going to look at the tight offside again. It's not even that tight. It was a lovely, well-timed run. Ocasio brings it down, scores, or scores even. And it's 1-1. Level pegging after 22 minutes. And we're into another highlight with a Reyes throw-in. Ocasio brings it poor inside. Can't find Russia. And New York City are on the break again. Morales tries to find Ramani. But Nervo gets in the way. Barbosa and Quinones getting in each other's way there as well. And Santa Maria nearly falling over the ball. Russia with a, that's a poor pass from Nervo. Uh, but we've got more touches now. Uh, Quinones with a few turns. Gets dispossessed by Morales or Haber. I'm not sure. But New York City are on the advance once again. This is this is the most tense I've been in a game in a long time. It doesn't really matter. Oh, no. Haber's through and scored. New York City. 2-1. After 24 minutes. What is going... Maybe. Maybe the MLS is just this much better than the Liga MX. Because the 14th place side in the US... Uh, Eastern Conference is currently beating the top side in Mexico 2-1 uh, and it's Haber who's made the difference there lovely run lovely finish uh, Vargas couldn't do anything about it Gulp Gulp is all I'm going to say Morales free kick could they get a third I hope not Nervo with a dangerous clearance into the centre of the park but that header is safe straight to Vargas who clutches it to his chest and we are hopefully going to have a little bit more calm and collection as we get Near the half hour mark. Oh, that's a long ball forward though. We've decided not to go with playing it out through defence. Never mind. But anyway, Barbosa wins that header. But he can't find a teammate. Uh, and the Sky Blues, I'm assuming they're nicknamed the Sky Blues. Because they look like Manchester City. Um, are advancing once again. And Vargas has come well out of his area. Oh no. Oh, he's in the post. He's in the post. Oh, Vargas has been let off. What was that? He came well out of his area. Went to clear it. Missed it. But thankfully, the woodwork has come back. And saved our skin. I need a break. I need half time. We've got five minutes left. I hope nothing else. Hey, we've got another highlight. Here we go. Nervo with a free kick. Inside to Marquez. Marquez inside to Santa Maria. Can we go any further inside? No, we go to Furch. Furch has dropped down deep, which normally is a good sign because it creates space behind. Quinones has to send it back to Barbosa. Rocha's first touch is terrible. And the chance is gone. No, it's not. Barbosa intercepts. Back to Russia. Marquez. Ball over the top to Ocasio. Nods it down to Furch. Furch. Furch is there. Julio Furch. Last episode he was on fire. Now he's just in form. Uh, and that's 2-2. Furch. I think that's his 13th goal of the season. Okay. We're only mid-September. We're good. Okay. It's 2-2. I mean, this... Flip, what? Have I pressed something to flip the replays around? Because this is off-putting. Uh, an Ocasio header. Furch has dropped deep. Opened the space behind him and gone back into it himself to find a header from his strike partner, Ocasio. And now they've both got goals. It's 2-2. Half time. Let's all take a breather. Okay, when I said a breather, I was not expecting 20 minutes of nothing in the second half. Anyway, we are in the first highlight of the half. It's the 66th minute. We've got the ball down the right-hand side. Santa Maria, who has got a yellow card. But we spread it all the way over to the left. Monatas is there. He's been quiet this game. Probably because I can't pronounce his name right. Uh, and Avocado or Avocado, who or whoever that guy was in the sky blue shirt who doesn't play for me. This guy, he's got the ball. They're on the break. Haber's on a hat trick. Gabriel Pereira's got it. Ball into the middle is dangerous. Haber brings it down. Touch. Shoots. That should have been a goal there for New York City. But it's been blazed wide. And we can just about hang on. It was a defender. I'm glad it was a defender. A centre-back who got the end on, of that ball. Because... 
Anyway, Zaldivar is on in the centre of the park. We're scraping the barrel a little bit with our midfielders because Rocha is tired and not particularly playing well. Uh, my, New York City, not Manchester City, have played a lot of substitutions already. Uh, we are just accepting the assistant's advice because I'm slightly worried. Although I've just realised Furch is off. Never mind. Uh, Herrera up front. Flores now on the right instead of Quinones as well. We're into an injury time. We're going to extra time. That second half... Flew by. I mean, I didn't speak for 20, set, 20 minutes of it. And then I spoke too much for the second half. That's my team talk. We're doing well. Let's go straight into extra time. And hopefully it's not as boring and dull as the first 20 minutes of the second half. Because if it is, we'll be at half time before I finish this sentence. It isn't. We're going to continue with the substitutions. Manatas off for Rodriguez. Left wing. It doesn't really matter if we win this game because it's only the Campeones Cup. Uh, Nervo is going to come off in a second. But Herrera is just nearly brought down. But he's got the end of the clear. There we go. Inside. Uh, Zaldivar. With, with these are, oh, he's brought, is that a penalty? That looked outside of the box. I'll be honest. We might have a free kick in a dangerous place though. That looked just outside the box. But Zaldivar's brought down. The referee is going... VAR, yes. Is it inside the box? No, no, it's not. Okay, no penalty awarded. I mean, I could have told you that by looking with my eyes. But Rodriguez has been booked for New York City. We're near the half-time mark in extra time. Nervo's off for Aguilera, who isn't going to come on during this free kick. Rodriguez, our own Rodriguez. Ball at the back post is clear. Tell us Magno. I know that guy. He plays for Man if New York City, not Manchester City. Got to stop saying Manchester City. We aren't going to play them in the Campionis Cup. We might play them in the Cub World Cup if we ever get there. Half time of extra time. This has been a little bit of a ramble, I'll be honest, because it's a bit chaotic. Uh, we've been slightly better side overall in the 110 minutes, but we now have a throw in in the corner flag. Uh, Barbosa's ball into the box is just about cleared, but only as far as Marquez, who turns back across the pitch. Herrera has scored. Is he onside? We're going to check. That might be his first of the season. It probably isn't his first of the season. It might be. We're going to check VAR. It could be his most important of the season. It's been awarded. Lovely movement by Marquez. We flip the camera again. It's his third of his season. Okay, Marquez takes a touch. Turns back inside. Ball to the back post. Herrera peels away from everyone. The goalkeeper's left in no man's land. And he heads it home. Not the goalkeeper. Oziel Herrera gets his third of the season with a lovely header. The most important goal he's going to score in this episode at least. Makes it 3-2 with 10 minutes left of extra time. Uh, we're going to just hopefully win. Okay, five minutes to go. We've got another highlight. It's a defensive one, but we're going to build from the back. Uh, Aguilera fresh on the pitch. Marquez, the assister in the third goal. Acacia has been involved in the first two goals. Lovely ball over the top. Zaldivar is through. Can he make it four? No, he can't. He's ended up in New Jersey. Okay, we've still got two minutes left, but we are looking like we might be just about winning. At the very least, we're going to penalties, but it's going to be a victory. We've won. We've won. There we go. The Campeones Cup. Is coming home to Mexico. Atlas have beat New York City 3-2 after extra time. A fantastic result and one I'm very proud of. It's the first trophy ticked off the list. We'll hopefully be adding to it very soon as we get into the Apertura playoffs. But here we go. We're going to lift the trophy high. It's the Campeones Cup. I've never heard of it until I did the league guide. But now I've won it and I'm very, very happy. There we go. Atlas beating New York City 3-2. In extra time. So after our heroics in extra time, we didn't let our tired legs ruin the final two games of the season in which we beat Tigres 3-2 away and beat Santos Laguna 2-0 at home with Furch getting a further three goals. This leaves the Apotuera league table looking like this. 14 wins, three draws, no defeats, 45 points. Comfortable victors by six points in the end. Uh, Chivas just scraped into the playoffs, uh, which we'll have a look at in a second because we're into the playoffs. We're going to win the Apertura, hopefully. Let's, let's find out in a second when we go through the draw. And this is the draw. Chivas got knocked out, but we are going to face Pumas, who, who finished Pumas, rather, not Pumas. Pumas, who finished 12th in the league, I believe. Uh, but if you remember, we drew with them. So they're one of the three teams we didn't beat. Um... But we've got, the, we've got them over two legs in the playoff quarterfinals. Uh, yeah, we drew with them nil-nil at home. But we've got them away and at home in quick succession in the playoff quarterfinals. Which is going to be an interesting one. So Pumas were a side we didn't beat in the regular season. But they only finished 12th. 